All right, I'm not going to be long because I'm on the go today. It's been pretty busy. But uh, we got Darnell, I think it's Darnell Mooney, wide receiver from uh, Chicago, three-year, $39 million. Let me tell you what this means. First, that means that whatever Scotty Miller and them was doing, it wasn't good enough because this guy's a slot guy. He possibly could be a number two, but I'm more thinking like slot. And also, what does this mean for the draft? Because we did say we would probably could get a receiver in the draft. We may still get one, but I, I, I think that we're probably going to go defense, maybe get that pass rusher at number eight. Um, you know, Adunze is out there. A couple of other receivers is out there that a lot of people that are talking about. And this could be a situation where we are uh, pretty much looking at the best man available. There, there's not much of a need in, in what the Falcons need at this point. I mean, be honest. I mean, a wide receiver number two and pass rush is is maybe on the top of a list, but I don't think it's a need. I think we'll still be okay with what we have. Now, what I think that we're going to do is, is, is you know, really, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a toss-up. I mean, we just got to be honest. The Falcons put themselves in a really good position to build a, a really nice team. The Falcons of old, where we saw, like, these certain players that we never thought – that would, uh, you know, be on the team is on the team. You know, we didn't think about getting a Mooney or a Kirk Cousins, you know, um, especially when Raheem Morris came back. We thought it was going to be more of a, you know, just a whole hum type approach. Now, they're being very aggressive. And it, it just goes to show you that they may just stock on offense once again and get another receiver in the second round, you know, or, or go for a receiver in the first round and look for a gym that could put rush the passer in the second round. It, it could go either way. But overall, it is not a bad situation. These guys are in a very, very good situation to be successful. I mean, you look at this, you look at this division, and I know it's, it's, it's a dogfight in a division, but the division itself is very winnable. It was very winnable last year with Desmond Ritter, but you see how that go. We turn around, we get a better quarterback, we get into more weapons on top of the weapons we already got. I didn't even mention that two minutes into this video. I haven't even talked about the weapons. You know, Bijan, Algier, you know, Pitts, Drake. You know, I mean, we, we just signed the tight end Charlie Warner, but I don't think he's going to be that big of an offensive weapon as far as catching the ball. But running the ball, he's going to be that guy. So when you look at all these pieces and you add Mooney to it, look, man, um, to be honest, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. I think this new regime is coming in and turning everything into the – it's turning everything over to the point where we have no choice but to win more than seven games. You know, I, I'm being serious. I mean, how could you be a 7-10 and 10 team with the moves that we're making already? Kirk Cousins alone gives you two more wins, barring that he stays healthy. So we, 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 we got we, – we got I'm not going to say we have to get on board, but – what is your reason in not getting on board at this point? I mean, I understand the injury is a concern. The money is the money. The money going to do what it do. I mean, at the end of the day, you saw, even though we signed Kirk Cousins all this money, we turned around and got a receiver at, you know, $12 million a year, $13 million a year. It's a little steep, but this, that's how the, that's how the salary is nowadays, guys. That's just what it is. I'm pretty hyped about it. I'm very optimistic. And I'm really interested to see what's next. What else they're going to do? Are they going to pull some guys from free agency? There's some defensive guys in the free agency uh, world right now that could go, come to the team. And they do pull a pass rusher on uh, during this free agency time. And there's a decent or a really good one. Best man available for the draft. Literally best man available that, that we're going to get for in the draft. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to get back on this road, man. Y'all be blessed. Peace.